Libra, this is a big month for you. It's bigger than you realize, I heard. Okay, so I pulled out some oracle cards to see what's going on for your month ahead and then we're gonna clarify with the tarot. But you're coming into this month doing a lot of assessing. Okay, and I'm feeling like this is internal reflection. What have I been through, I heard? What will others think of me? What needs to be done? How can I get people to understand? I heard be on my side. How can I separate myself from someone's energy? Interesting. Okay. And some of you have already done this. You've already um, separated, but you're assessing like what's come out of this. What do I do with this? Where to next? It's a little bit of a up and down energy, back and forth, like, okay, well, this happened and I did this and I want to do that. I'm going there, but I don't really know. And what, what is actually happening over here? It's a little bit of a, like a tiptoeing energy within yourself almost. There needs to be faith and trust in yourself at this time. It's a big month. Okay, so the, the big event that's coming up this month, we have fear creation and realization and i love this libra for you you are creating something or you will be or you have that has come out of some kind of i heard trauma some kind of trauma some kind of difficult situation you were in that made you confront and face your fears you're creating something and i'm really seeing this as something tangible something artistic, something self-motivating, a, a business even, a new perspective. You're creating, cultivating, I heard, creating something. I don't know that it's like, as you're creating it, you're not exactly sure where you're going. And it's like when you, almost when it's finished completion or when it's you know right I'm seeing a cherry being put on top of something so it's like right when that final puzzle piece is in place or you're just about it's not fully complete but it's almost there you're gonna have a realization that you were in fact creating something all of this time out of some kind of fear that you used to have and it's like you're gonna realize why you went through I heard the failures, the ups and downs, including other people's failures that you went through. Okay, you, some of you, this isn't all of you, but some of you put yourself in a position that it's like you sat in their go-kart while they drove through their failures. Okay, and you went along for the ride. Out of the goodness of your heart, some of you just because you didn't know how to get out of that. But you're realizing the purpose for everything that it, that you've been through by by mid month the end of the month sometime this month you're going to be you're creating something i don't know it's awesome and it's what's really cool to me is like you don't really realize the magnitude of what it is you're creating until it's almost complete it's not like you have this realization then you say oh that's why that happened. Now I'll start this. You know, now I'll start like um, a coaching channel, let's say, to help other people be th go be through. Interesting. Go through situations that I went through. You know, I'll help them get out of it. It's not like you have that realization. You do it. It's like you start something. It's like you start the coaching channel, not really knowing what you're doing, not really knowing where you're going, and then you have a realization of, oh, this is what I'm really doing here. It's, I think it's more organic that way, Libra. So don't feel like you need to have this whole plan set in place. It's important to know where, what, you know, where you're going on a practical level, but don't feel like you need to fully define your, your project, the, the love you're, I heard, working with. Interesting. Let it evolve organically. At the end of the month, we have resilience and discernment. You're going to have this like aha moment where you're going to realize that whatever it is you went through it was to strengthen um or re even remind you and you, some of you it was a tough lesson 
but it's like you needed a reminder or a strengthening in your soul to know how resilient you are. Like you've always been, okay? And then somewhere along the line, something happened and you kind of fell off a little bit. You didn't believe in yourself as much as you used to. You didn't show up for yourself as much as you used to. So something happened, okay? And now you're assessing this situation, you're creating something. Whatever you're creating is gonna allow you to discern your own resilience and remind you like, oh yeah, that is who I am. This is okay. This is okay because now I can go forward and do this. Or now I'm being given this gift by the universe. It's gonna, it's really, um, I'm having trouble articulating it because it's not like it's given to you by the universe, but it's not like it's all of your own doing. It's a co-creative energy, but it's, it's almost like a, a return to yourself, but in a better, bigger way. You just kind of lost yourself along the way there. Okay, so now you're going to reinvent yourself in a way that revitalizes the, the old you, the real you, who's resilient and discerning and creative. All right, let's get into the tarot. I love this energy. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the word theme, theme. Okay, so I don't know. This is the theme, I guess. I, well, discernment is really sticking out to me here. Discernment. Some of you are going to help other people to, to discern things. Star. You know, you might be getting real popular with something. Be your, Some of you might be like the go-to person. Ah, Libra knows how to handle this. And it's like they're not going to see the whole background of what, how you got to remind yourself that you know all of this. It's like your soul was born knowing what it is you're about to do. But you forgot it. Maybe not out of your own doing, but maybe that was just your fate in your path. And then something happened to really remind you. And I think it was something difficult. Okay, so you're assessing your hopes, your dreams, what you want to do, where you want to go, how you want to be recognized, how you want to heal, as well as how you want to heal others. I'm really getting that vibe. Okay, let's see. What's this fear about for Libra? The magician in reverse. Ooh, Libra. A little bit nervous of your shadow side. Your ability to manipulate situations, okay? And I'm not saying that's a negative thing here, but there is a fear around that. Your own power, a fear of your own power. Because for some of you, when you use your power, it gets turned against you in a way where people who don't have the same power as you make you feel guilty and bad for activating your power okay and some of you have let that lower kind of energy it's um not really a gel intimidated an intimidation from other other people feeling intimidated by your power you've let that kind of become your truth where it's not right to use my power to this degree because others don't have it okay there's something like that going on where somebody's made you feel like you shouldn't be as powerful as you are and so you dulled yourself or somebody tried to dull you because they were intimidated and for some reason now that's become your fear okay your fear is your own power That's a pretty big fear. I was going to say that's a good fear to have, but it is a big fear. For some of you, you did use your power in a way that wasn't the best, okay? And you've learned that. You've learned what you did. That's not for all of you, but some of you did, okay? Mm, I need a... Um, mm, I want to clarify that with something else. I'll use these cards. Tell me about this magician in reverse with the fear. 
Well, that's a lot. Well, see, I do believe this is it though. We have nourish. We have, it is within reach, give it the time it needs. So there's something you went, went after, okay? Something you went after, you went towards. And then it's like somebody made you feel like you weren't doing something right or you were, you were being manipulative maybe or calculating or someone made you feel bad for the way you were doing something and so you got in your own way. They used your energy as a roadblock and they, I don't know who they is okay so this could even be your higher self okay so th this could be like your higher self trying to teach you a lesson here or something like that it could be your shadow aspect I don't know it could be another person I feel like for many of you it isn't a, a, a group of people even more than one person not necessarily connected to one another but just different people in your life and I'm like my voice is getting like contracted in my throat even um throat chakra so it's like you weren't allowed to speak out or people when you spoke your truth and your power people weren't listening okay so this month you are gonna get out of your own way when it comes to that fear creation let's clarify creation what's that about spirit what's creation about we have the king of swords in reverse with the five of wands in reverse something some words okay some words some kind of word play language play language games thought games you've learned some and i really felt like this from the beginning it's very much in the air element whatever it is you're creating like it could be um music lyrics uh writing speaking i'm really feeling like speaking Whatever it is, it's some form of communication that was negative, either you experienced negatively in the past or you engaged with in a negative sense. You're, you're transforming it. You're creating something with that negative energy or that experience. Remixing, I heard. You're remixing something. Some of you are just doing something creative or, some, or you're talking to people even out of boredom or something like that and you don't even realize what it is that you're doing and what you're doing is working through your own fears it's interesting it's almost like you don't want to confront your own power head on it's like you have to see it manifest for yourself so that you can look back and say oh i manifested that rather than doing it intentionally because somebody has made you feel that's not right in some way Okay, realization, the hermit. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? The hermit has realizations that of their inner wisdom, of who they really are, the knowledge they have to share with the world. What is the hermit realizing? Seven of pentacles in the reverse, that you don't have the patience or the time or the willingness or the wanting to stick around for something that is just is not going anywhere, has no growth. Okay, and you're also going to realize that any situation you were in that didn't have growth was a, like a holding time. I want to say a holding cell, and then I see justice in reverse here at the bottom, so take that as you will here with the Hierophant, or sorry, the Emperor. So it was like a holding time, you know, a holding time that that period of non-growth was there for a particular reason. And I'm not exactly sure what it is. I think it's for you to recognize your own resilience and to be able to discern that moving forward and really having confidence to use your powers. But, you know, it's probably much more detailed and complex and specific. But you're going to realize why you were stuck in a position that you were in or why something wouldn't get off the ground in the way it would. It's because something else was waiting for you. It's something else was there for you. And that's going to become clear in June. It's it's really nice. It's lovely, I want to say. It's lovely. Okay, let's clarify resilience and discernment for the end of the month for Libra, please. Oh, the sun. 
<laughs> the Hierophant in reverse. So breaking out of like molds, old ways of being, old ways of thinking, old entire indoctrinations of your soul, indoctrinations, and I heard doctor, indoctrinations of your soul, fleeing, I heard from that, freeing yourself from that, and being proud of your power. For some of you, this is financial power you have. For some of you, this is, you have custody, and you've been ashamed of that or something like that. You know, for some of you, you really stood up to someone, and for some reason, you're feeling uneasy about that. Others of you, or this could also be a combination of things. You have some intuitive powers, okay? And you're really going to step into that and break any kind of institution, institutional thinking could even be in a love connection that was really contracting your energy. You're going to break out of that and really shine here. Resilience with the sun. Then we have with discernment, we have the five of swords with the four of pentacles in reverse. You already won whatever game was being played with you, Libra. You already won the game, okay? You got the knowledge, you got everything you need out of that lesson, out of that thing, and you're releasing that. You're discerning what's worth holding on to and what's, what's worth releasing. And you're not playing any of these games of... Oh, what am I hearing? I heard... Uh, um, possess protection, pos possessiveness cloaked as protection or something like that. Okay. You're not, you're not going to fiddle. And I'm seeing like a fiddle head, you know, like the, the, the thing you eat, the fiddle head, right? The vegetable or the root or whatever it is, right? I'm seeing that you're not going to fiddle around. And it's interesting. It's a spiral, right? So many of you felt like you were spiraling or someone was spiraling out of control, but again, with that spiral, it's all been there for a purpose and for a reason, okay? And you're going to have major powers um, and confidence in your own powers. It's not that you're going to have them. You already have them. You always had them. But now you're really going to step into them and do something really cool with it. I really feel like you're doing something neat, <laughs> like cool. Like it might be helpful and beautiful and guiding, but it's cool, okay? It's got some edge to it. Let's see. The answers you need are coming. Show the world the real you. Yeah, that's really what I'm feeling here. Meditate and contemplate. All right, Libra, I hope that was helpful. I'll see you next time. <laughs>